Ooh, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here with Tricky Gym. We've got a very exciting video today. We're gonna to be opening Battle Styles Elite Trainer Boxes as well as Battle Styles Booster Boxes thanks to the Pokemon Company International. They provided these for the channel as a gift. So major thanks to Pokemon for hooking us up with some awesome new Battle Styles product. I am extremely excited about these cards. We are going to be building decks out of the cards that we open and playing them on stream in the week ahead before the set is released on the Pokemon trading card game online. I'm actually live at the time of recording this on Twitch. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We're actually giving away this elite trainer box during the live stream. So major thanks to Pokemon for providing this product for us. And uh, hopefully, uh, if you're here live, you are the one who wins the Elite Trainer Box that we're gonna be giving away. I'm also gonna be giving away two Battle Styles Booster Boxes while we stream during the set release on the Pokemon Trading Card Game Online. So, very stoked about that. Make sure to check out the Twitch channel so you don't miss out on any of the hype. Now let's get cracking. Okay, we are going to be opening the red Elite Trainer Box first. We have got two Elite Trainer Boxes, the red one and the blue one. Single Strike, Rapid Strike. And we've got three Booster Boxes. This is incredibly hype. I am so, so very thankful to the Pokemon Company for sending us this product to show off. And uh, this is definitely the earliest I've ever been able to show off uh, the Pokemon product as well. So that is extremely hype. And like I said, I'm gonna be using these cards to build decks for the stream. So we've got some predictors in the Twitch chat predicting whether or not we will open one Pokemon V in the Elite Trainer Box. So that is what we are going to be hunting for. Uh, setting the bar low for the first box. Can we open a single Pokemon V? All right, the artwork on these things looks absolutely phenomenal. I love it. Uh, the Urshifu looks super epic here. And then, you know, they got like hidden artwork. You guys know about the, do you know about the hidden artwork on these things? I bet you didn't. I bet you didn't know. Check this out, the hidden artwork. You didn't even know that was there. You didn't even know it was there. Listen, you didn't know. Did you know? Did you know about the hidden artwork? You can actually do that? Yeah, check that out. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Nice artwork on the inside of the ETB as well. That is super sick looking. We've got uh, the official artwork for Tyranitar, the Empoleon, uh, and both Urshifus on the inside and then of course we've got the booklet that comes with your elite trainer box where you can see all of the various cards that you can collect in the set as well as a nice little set checklist which is nice if you are trying to complete the whole set and then of course we've got the beautiful secret rares there in the back and the box looks awesome as well it's got this nice silver detail on it. You can kind of see that uh, that silver stripe around the box looks really, really slick. And then the Urshifu has got a kind of silver outline as well. And the Battle Styles logo is even a foil silver also. That looks, uh, that looks mighty nice, I have to say. We're also going to be giving away all of these codes. So how about we how about we are going to draw multiple winners at the end. Not just a winner for the uh, not just a winner for the uh, the elite trainer box, but we're also going to have some runner up winners. Uh, let's see how many codes am I going to end up with today? About a hundred, about a hundred. Okay. So we'll draw five winners. Okay. Today, uh, we will draw five winners. One winner, our grand prize winner is going to get the battle styles elite trainer box. And then we'll have four winners who each win 25 battle styles, Pokemon trading card game online codes. So that, uh, that's that's some quick math, right? Quick math. Yeah, there we go. I will have uh, I will have at least 
that many codes to give away. So that's sick. All right, here are the Urshifu sleeves, which is uh, which is which is awesome. Now I, I know that they started making the uh, they started making the Elite Trainer Box sleeves in the new formula, and these are the new formula sleeves. These are uh, very matte. Uh, they're like the same formula as the Trainer Toolkit sleeves so that is uh that is awesome I'm, I'm very stoked about that uh so those are nice you can actually use these for your decks and uh you know they should shuffle pretty well i've been definitely been pleased with the the new formula for those sleeves so we've got the artwork on the dividers and then of course the dice shots gotta show off the dice we've got a red rolling die as well as there's okay these guys are like they're kind of like tie-dye almost you see they've got their two-tone which is pretty cool and then the main rolling die there is like a red uh yeah they're marbled okay that's what i'll that's what i'll call it yeah they're marbled they got like a marble texture to them which is super slick very cool. And then, of course, we've got our poison burn markers. So we'll keep all of that stuff in here. And, of course, we have to show off that they are definitely still printing fairy energy, right? There's still fairy energy. Ah, yes, still fairy energy. You haven't left us yet, fairy Pokemon. Nope, still still got fairy energy. And, uh, yeah, there's a there's a little a booklet. All right, let, let's get to the... Hey, Mahone, you're stalling. All right, let's get to the packs. Who's ready for some packs? Here we go. First pack, magic, baby. First pack, magic, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Mahone, you're really milking this content, bud. Really, really be out here milking it. You know? Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know you really, you really milk this stuff for all it's worth, man? Yeah. That's the. It's part of the deal, chat. Got to know how to milk the content. All right, here we go. We've got Galarian, Mr. Mime, Silicobra, Mienfu. Cherubi, Pachirisu, Arolicoli, and first pack magic, baby. There we go. First pack magic, baby. First pack magic, baby. Let's go. We got a rapid strike, Urshifu V. This is the one that I wanted. Very excited. I'm going to be building a deck around the Rapid Strike Urshifu V. This thing is insane. Uh, it evolves into Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, which has an amazing spread attack compatible with the new Rapid Strike energy as well. Extremely, extremely hype on that hit. And we've got the Rapid Strike energy in the same pack. That is absolute madness love it yes beautiful beautiful pull and the scroll of swirls nice i've got some uh, uh i've got some sleeves here we're going to be uh gonna be keeping those guys sleeved up fantastic let's go opening starting off real real strong with a rapid strike or shifu v now let's see what we've got in the rest of these packs here. I'm gonna I'm gonna start cooking a little bit. Move through these. All right, Corefish, Timber, Entei, and Laurentis is our rare. Karina's Focus is an awesome card. As the as is the uh, Tower of Waters. I really like Tower of Waters. It gives your uh, Rapid Strike Pokemon free retreat, which is super super sick. And let's see, let's see what we got in here. Ponyard, Cacnea. Spiro, Single Strike Scroll, and a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. The Galarian Mr. Rhyme has the ball juggling attack. Now, I think that this is going to be a little bit of a gimmick, right? Uh, is it two less retreat? Ah, oh, it's two less retreat, not free retreat, but, you know. Urshifu is the one that I'm really worried about, and he's got to retreat it too. Yeah, 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 the ball juggler, right? Is this is this a meme, or am I actually going to be one-hit KOing things with the ball juggling attack? I don't, I can't tell, Pokemon. Please assist. Meme or not a meme? That is the question. They've got a lot of decks like that um, in this set, I feel like, right? Um where it's like you can't tell can't tell if this is a joke or if it's going to be good but i think that that's the sign of a lot of fun cards There's a lot of fun cards in this set uh that should make for some pretty interesting i do love this gold bat we got to play with the gold bat in the pre-release 
uh, the pre-release build and battle kits, the Golbat and the Crobat were just super fun. They have the uh, abilities that let you draw extra cards. Uh, Esper, Electabuzz. Ooh, and we've got a Tyranitar V. Check that out. Tyranitar V, single strike with the Cragalanche attack. 60 damage, you can discard the top two cards of your opponent's deck. And then single strike crush does 240 damage. And of course, you could boost this thing up with the single strike energy new from Battle Styles. Love Tyranitar. Uh, Tyranitar was one of, uh, I think, one of my favorite cards when I first started playing the Pokemon trading card game. Tyranitar Prime was what I think Tyranitar Prime was the first single I ever bought. Um, for the Pokemon training card game. I had just opened packs, you know, uh, as a collector. And then when I first started building my own decks, Tyranitar Prime was the first card. I was like, Tyranitar Prime is so sick. It's got three attacks. Uh, and I thought it was just the coolest thing I had ever seen because the Pokemon had three attacks. And I thought all Pokemon with three attacks were just you know, the coolest. All right, Cheruby, Patchy, a Jellicent, and a Steelix. 190 hit points. It's heavy impact attack does 200 damage. Not too shabby, Steelix. You know, this Fero gets in there. 70 damage for one, one energy. Not bad. And there is Phoebe. Phoebe can uh, help your VMAX deck get through all of those pesky Decidueyes. That is, uh, that is for sure. All right, the code comes off to the side. And we've got Zubat, Lickitung, Yamper, Scatterbug, and Glary Mr. Rhyme, Colossal. You already know, I can't wait to make the YouTube video about this Colossal with its coal cannon attack. You flip a coin for each energy attached to this Pokemon, does 90 damage for each heads. Just think, each heads that you flip with the Colossal is 90 more damage. That is just wild. And we got Bolt Doggy Dog, Heatmore, Cheryl, and Rapid Strike Mustard. The Cheryl is going to go very good in the, uh, in what? I guess the, uh, who's the, the VMAX that I'm thinking? Corviknight VMAX. Yes, Cheryl with Corviknight VMAX seems very hype. Glammeow, Tepig, Timber, Pawnyard. Pig Knight and Aegislash is our rare. And we've got a Cheryl and the new Durant as well. I didn't talk about the new Durant in my set preview, but it does have that mill attack. So you can uh, you can discard cards off the top of your opponent's deck for each Durant that you have in play. So our first ETB looking real solid with a Tyranitar and a Rapid Strike or Shifu V. Now we have got the Rapid Strike. Urshifu Elite Trainer Box, and uh, I think this is really cool when they differentiate the Elite Trainer Boxes, you know, based on the uh, based on the Pokemon that is featured on the front. So we have the Red Elite Trainer Box that comes with the Red Swag, and then uh, I guess I can call it Swag, right? Do do people still use the word Swag? Can I call it Swag? The dice and the sleeves. Right, if I'm gonna call it dice and sleeves, it comes with swag, right? The Elite Trainer Backs comes with swag. It comes with swag. Am I too old? Is that a <laughs> is that a is that a boomer thing? Yeah. <laughs> Look, yeah, I got a box full of swag. Yeah, check this out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. I'm I'm calling it swag, Chad. I don't care. I don't. I I frankly don't care. I'm 32 years old. Yeah, cringe isn't real. Yep. Get off TikTok. All right, here we are. And uh, here are. My eight packs, beautiful. Yes, yes. Check that out. How is this not swag? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. How is this not swag? Check this out. We've got some blue. Yeah, the swag bags that you used to get at regionals. Tell me, tell me that those bags that you, you used to get at the regional championships. Tell me that those were not. Tell me with a straight a straight face that those were not swag bags. Those were definitely, if it's not a swag bag, then what do you call it? A bag full of, <laughs> uh-huh, yes. See, so like you get uh, a bag 
full of swag at the regional championships in an elite trainer box, you get a box full of swag. It's a swag box. There we go. You've got your your nice dice there. I do love the icy blue on that uh, on that die. That is uh, wonderful for sure. And then the marbled texture, the marbled color on the blue ETB dice. We've got the Urshifu featured there. There is the code, but that's not one of the codes that we're doing for our end of stream giveaway. So if you want the swag on your Pokemon trading card game online accounts, knock yourself out. There you go. And then we've got those and we've got those. Beautiful. And the box. Of course, the box looks pretty. There we go. Nice silver. Yep. Same thing as the Rapid Strike one, except this one is blue. All right. Eight packs. Let's get it. Will we open a full art supporter? This is what uh, we have. This is what we have our, our chats predicting on right now. Can we find a full art supporter in this Elite Trainer box? We got Salandit and Salazzle. Nice little completed evolution line. That's exciting, at least. Single Strike Energy and Level Ball are nice hits out of that Elite Trainer box as well. Certainly going to be using those in some of the decks that we build. Uh, the full art supporters have gotten uh, absolutely wild lately. Collectors are certainly... Uh, Certainly loving full art supporters. I I looked up like uh, I looked up just like I think what's the Sabrina's suggestion? I looked up full art Sabrina's suggestion, a card that is just purely a collector's card. Uh, even a, like a full art Sabrina's suggestion is like almost a hundred dollars, which is just absolutely wild. Yeah, full art supporters have certainly uh, increased in collectivity over the last uh, year that is for sure uh and sabrina's suggestion was like never even a remotely playable card but of course sabrina is one of the uh is one of the original gym leaders you know very nostalgic i think that that is uh you know it, it's no wonder that a card with sabrina featured on it would be such a uh collector's chase card we've got zubats lickitung yamper and there are plenty of awesome full art supporters in this set. This is probably my favorite artwork. I absolutely love this Galarian Slowbro. Uh, just such, such a sick artwork there with the uh, oh, the cloister clamped onto its arm. And then the fact that the Galarian Slowbro uses the cloister as like a poison blaster is, uh, is absolutely amazing. So definitely love that artwork. Experience share, Weeping Bell and Cedra, and there is our code. Fantastic, yeah, there's a lot of really crazy uh, full art supporters in this set. There is uh, full art Skyla, there's full art Phoebe, there's both of the Mustards, right, as well. Rapid Strike and Single Strike Mustard. Uh, a lot of really, really hype supporters. And Salazzle is our rare in this pack. Will we get a hit out of this Elite Trainer box? We've still, we're halfway home. Halfway home. And uh, yeah, I think the Pokemon has also just done a phenomenal job with the production of the full art cards, uh, the chase cards, things like that. Uh, the artwork on these things, I mean, huge props to the artists and uh, and for you know Pokemon for hiring such wonderful artists to uh you know to decorate their cards yo thank you uh <laughs> or check out this uh check out this ente yeah but the uh thank you to the artists yeah the artists really do uh an incredible job with the uh with the artwork i mean just look how creative uh look at the creative license that you know some of these artists have with the uh you know with the with the pokemon ip i mean look at that grumpig right that grumpig has really got it going on i mean he's doing something different that's for sure it feels like a very kind of uh, impressionistic Grumpig there. Uh, I think that that's super cool. I mean, like, where is he dancing? What is he doing? Where is this Grumpig? What is the setting? Tell me, tell me where this Grumpig is and what it's doing. There's no way you guys can tell me. Is that like, what are those structures in the back? You know, like, what is going on? That is a. Uh, 
that is that is super sick so we definitely definitely love that and we've got three more packs all right let's get it happy doesn't have to bounce anymore true <laughs> spoink spoink can never you know f's in the chat for spoink who can never stop bouncing uh you know you know what happens if but yeah i think this is like the 10th salazzle that i've gotten so far so let's go salazzle hype yeah that would be an exhausting existence if i were a spoink i would want to evolve into a uh a grumpig as soon as possible all right it does appear as if there is some sort of card that would be deemed as a uh a hit per se in this particular pack i saw the corner of it uh that is uh that is that is confirmed chat so we have got we have got what some people call a hit all right here's our salandit here's our murkrow here's our yamper it's got the ball search goes with the mr mime and who is it going to be corvanite v max check that out insane hit very stoked corvanite v max is a really hype card from this set i think that it's going to pair really well with the new bronzong it's got free retreats it's got an insane attack 240 damage for three energy a great ability i am very hype on this corvanite v max i think it is going to be a fantastic new card from battle style so could not be more pleased with that we got energy recycler uh definitely stoked to get that corvanite v max and we've been pulling really good so far Rapid Striker Shifu is a great card. Corviknight VMAX is a great card. Oh, wait. Chat, there's a hit in this pack too. Last pack magic, baby. Last pack magic. All right, we're going to slow roll this one. I think it's a rainbow card, chat. I think it's a rainbow rare. I do. I saw some. Saw some gold. Looked like gold. Oh, looked like gold on the corner. You see it? You can see it, can't you? Can't you, guys? Can't you? All right. And the hit. It's a trainer chat. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, my God. Oh, my. This is insane. <laughs> Oh yeah, let's let's go. Rainbow Rare Phoebe. I told you guys we would get a full art supporter. Absolutely insane. Let's go, Chad. Oh man, that is so crazy, bro. <laughs> Check that out. Rainbow Rare Phoebe. That's gotta be one of the most sought after uh cards in the set that's for sure that's absolutely insane what a pull what a pull probably one of the uh probably one of the most hype yeah full art supporter cards you could uh you could possibly pull in the set that is incredible and we had people predicting here on twitch that we would pull a full art supporter so those predictors are uh yeah right on the money there excellent all right the time is now our first booster box of battle styles we've already got some incredible hits on the stream so far uh rainbow rare phoebe rapid striker shifu v the corviknight uh we've got chat predicting whether or not we will get a gold card in this booster box and of course we're going to be giving away all of the codes at the end of the opening live on twitch so if you're watching on youtube definitely make sure to check out the twitch stream twitch.tv slash tricky gym where i am live with this opening right now all right well at the time of recording i can't i can't promise that i'll be live at the time of you 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 know how it goes i can't promise that i'll be i've gotten comments like that before like you said that you were live right now but I just checked Twitch and you are not live on Twitch right now. So I have to uh I have to I have to make a 
you know, a concession. Yo, there's Cherim, okay, with the spring bloom ability. Definitely love that uh, that Cherim. That is uh, that is awesome. And I think the Cherim has some potential for sure. Uh, can accelerate as many grass energy as you want into play to your Pokemon without a rule box during your turn. So the Cherim is uh, Cherim is super busted, most definitely. But yeah, so now when I say that I am live right now, um, I have to say I am live at the time of recording. I cannot promise you that I am live right now because I do like, you know, sleep and, you know, eat and, and do some other things. Uh, I'm not always live, but I am live every single weekday. Uh, that is a, that, that is true. All right, we got Karina's focus there. Nice new rapid strike supporter. And I'm really anxious to get into building some new rapid strike decks. If you are, uh, if you're watching here right now, I'm going to be streaming uh, rapid strike and single strike decks, new decks from Battle Styles live on Twitch this Friday. That is tomorrow. So we are going to be live with some brand new Battle Styles decks using many of these cards sent to me by the Pokemon company. So. Uh, very stoked on that because uh, Pokemon sending me this product early not only gives us a chance to preview the cards, which is incredibly hype, but it also gives me an opportunity to create content with the cards. And I think that that's probably the thing that I'm most excited about is that I can use these cards in decks and I can show off you know, those decks in action uh, before the set releases on the... Uh, Pokemon trading card game online. All right, we've got something that would be considered a hit, chat. So we've got some sort of hit in this pack. Who's it going to be? It's Single Strike Urshifu. Let's go. Very stoked about that. Single Strike Urshifu V evolves into the monstrous Single Strike Urshifu V Max. Now, I've got some... I've got some believers in the single strike, uh, the single strike squad. Okay, uh, in the chat, who's a believer in single strike or Shifu V? I know, and in and single strike or Shifu V Max. Who's a believer in the single strike, uh, single strike deck? I know there's uh, quite a few people stoked, stoked to give it a try. We've got some single strike stands for sure in the chats. Uh, I think that most players agree that the rapid strike just, you know, looks very strong. I mean, you have to, uh, right? I mean, the rapid strike looks good, right? It looks insane. How could you not think? I got a single bronze or in one of my pre-release kits. Corviknight, let's go! I'll never look at bronze or the same. It was so funny. It was just like hanging out in my pre-release kit. I didn't get a single bronze on. I didn't get any other bronze ores, no other metal types even, just a single bronze ore. In my, uh, in my in one of my pre-release kits, which was sick. Yo, we've got Corviknight V to go with my Corviknight V Max. That is awesome. I am well on my way to being able to build that uh, that Corviknight V Max deck, which is epic for sure. Loving that. I think there's like so many really good Hollow rares in this set. I think the Cherim is a great Hollow rare. I think that the Octillery is a fantastic hollow rare uh i'm definitely stoked on the quality of the hollow rares from battle styles which is awesome right because uh you know pokemon v and pokemon v max are like cool and all but yeah we got a lot of people who in the chat likes playing uh you know likes playing with with Pokemon cards that don't have a rule box. You know, who likes playing with single prize Pokemon? Anybody in the chat like playing with single prize Pokemon? So I think that that's exciting that uh, that there are some really quality, uh, really quality, you know, hollow rare cards in this set. We've got Durant there and Electivire is our rare in that pack. And uh, I've even was thinking about, you know, uh, the card like Tapu Bulu, right? Even just thinking about Tapu Bulu, uh, which is, uh, I don't know if it's a rare or hollow rare. I don't think I've seen it yet. I saw the one in the pre-release kit, but I'm not sure if it's a rare or a hollow rare in the set. There we got Stonejourner from the pre-release kit. But the Tapu Bulu with Cherim 
Uh, it's a rare, apparently, is really interesting because, I mean, maybe one day after Arceus, Dialga, and Palkia rotates, right? Uh, that card could potentially trade well with Pokemon VMAX. It could do 160 uh, damage, you know, which is interesting at least, right? Uh, so I, I like that. I like the idea of using Cherim to power up single prize attackers, for sure. We got Salazzle and Galarian Mr. Mime in that pack. Definitely would love to pull one of the gold energies. I think that would be that would be incredibly hype as well. The like gold rapid strike energy I think would be sick. I, I'm really a huge fan of the new rapid strike and single strike energies. And there we go. Mimikyu V. All right, Mimikyu V. Does anybody think that this card's gonna be really good? Uh, it's got this uh, dummy doll ability that makes it invincible when it comes into play for that turn. So if you can keep picking it up and putting it back down, it could be immune to damage from attacks theoretically, uh, you know, throughout the course of the game. But you have to figure out a way to pick it up and put it back down. And then there's uh, the gel size attack. So it allows you to put three damage counters on the defending Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken and of course my buddy Sean is a huge Mimikyu fan so I'm sure I will be uh, I'll probably be donating this Mimikyu V to my buddy Sean which uh, which uh, hopefully uh, hopefully he doesn't already have one that would be that'd be sweet I know there were some pre-release kits open so he may already have one but if not I got got Sean with the Mimikyu V have I seen the new Spirit Tomb? I did. I did see that there's a new Spirit Tomb. Yeah, F's in the chat for Mad Party. That is unfortunate. Yeah, Spirit Tomb does. It's like the uh, what? The, like the Oracorio does 10 damage for every Pokemon in the discard pile. Mad Party hates it. <laughs> uh, Bolt Suns, and uh, did we get? We got another Urn of Vitality. I really like that Urn of Vitality card. I think that uh, that card is just, really, it's, it's the card that makes, uh, it's the card that makes single strike, the whole single strike engine like have potential, right? Another Salazzle and Jellicent. Talk about cool artwork in the set, right? This is awesome. Not only are there multiple Jellicent, but I love the skinny Jellicent there in the back, who's just kind of, you know, vibing, just you know, I don't know, shoot itself through the water there. Like, what are you, what are you doing there, bud? I love it. It's great. Uh, I love thinking about. Or is it through the air? Oh, it's like literally shooting itself over a fisherman in a boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, literally, like that. This is such a sick artwork. Yeah, check this out. Uh, there's a fisherman in a boat down here, right? And then this jellison is literally. Look how spooky they are. It's literally shooting itself over top of the fisherman in the boat. And then there's this guy who looks like super daunting. And then there's this guy who's got some like really creepy eyes down here. Uh, you know, the uh, is it the same illustrator as the Grumpig? Yeah, uh, this this guy does some, uh, does some awesome, awesome illustrations. If that's the same illustrator that did Grumpig, that's for sure. Uh, there's some really excellent, uh, excellent artwork in this set. And Tool Jammer, such a funny card, right? Like Tool Scrapper, you would think is just better than Tool Jammer, but I was thinking about putting Tool Jammer in my cube just because I think I think Tool Jammer is like a fun, interesting card. Is it competitively competitively good? Probably not, but uh, I think it's a fun card, right? So I really like putting fun cards in my Pokemon cube to like to draft from uh, because there's a lot of cards that are fun. And uh, I think that the Swordbird and Shieldbert, right? Have you guys seen the Swordbird and Shieldbert card? Uh, I forget what set. Is that from this set? There. Man, dude, there it is. All right, Swordbird, talk about a fun card. I'm putting this card in my cube to draft for sure. Uh, Swordbird and Shieldbert uh, is like one of, first of all, all right, who, who, who asked themselves what in the world was going on when they encountered Swordbird and Shieldbert in the game? I felt I felt like I was getting punked. I was like, this can't be real, right? They've got the the sword hair and the shield hair. Like, that has got to be a joke. Like, I'm definitely being punked, right? And then, no, definitely was not being punked. They're real characters in the game. Swordbird and Shieldbert are canon. 
and uh, <laughs> and they're part of the series. Uh, so that uh, that is definitely interesting. But I really hope that eventually they print a full art sword bird and shield bird because I would uh, I'd love to put a full art sword bird and shield bird in my in my cube. I mean, what a goofy card, right? Choose a trainer card from your discard pile, then ask your opponent if you can put it into your hand. If yes, you do. If no, you draw three cards. I love cards like that where you where you have to like quiz or ask your opponent. I think that's like uh, that's hilarious. And we've got the rapid strike octillery in that pack, which is. Of course, awesome. So I uh, really like Swordbird and Shieldbird. It reminds me of a challenge, right? There's a card challenge where you can ask your opponent if you can uh, you know, fill your bench up with basic Pokemon from your deck. And if they say yes, then you both go into your decks respectively and, and fill your bench up. Uh, yeah, do you accept the challenge? Yeah, the challenge is like one of my favorite cards. One of my favorite trainer cards I think ever printed. And a nice Karina's focus there, and another Swordbird, and uh, and Shieldbert challenge. I forget what what set challenge is from. I'm pretty sure challenge is from. Uh, is it from one of the gym sets, or is it from Rocket? Uh, I forget. Or is it Rocket? It is Rocket, isn't it? Yeah, Rocket's like one of my favorite sets ever. Such a sick set. There's the Tapu Bulu. You told me that this was a rare chat. You, t I told you it might be a hollow rare. Y'all told me this was a rare. Who, which one of you told me this was a rare? It was a rare in just because it's a rare in the, uh, just because it's a rare in the build and battle kits does not mean that it's not a hollow rare, right? I mean, because you had uh, octillaries that were, uh, uh, you have octillaries in the build and battle kits that are just rares. This is a hollow rare. There's the Tapu Bulu. You can play the Tapu Bulu with your Cherim and put as many grass energy as you want onto your Tapu Bulu during your turn. And then Nature's Judgment. Discard and do 160 damage. So, busted. Awesome Grump Pig. Cool. And our code. And we're cooking. Said it was a hollow rare. Did I misread chat? I quite possibly could have misread chat. It is possible. And then there's the Mian Xiao from the uh, from the build and battle kits. The build and battle kits were definitely a lot of fun uh, playing those sealed formats. So thank you to everybody who tuned in to the stream and watched the build and battle content here on Tricky Gym. Those limited formats are definitely some of my favorite. Yo, we've got a single strike Embor. That is awesome. It's Fighting Fury Stance. Ability gives your single strike Pokemon 30 more damage to their attacks. Mr. Pig. Uh, but uh, but yeah, I think that it's really cool that Pokemon does, you know, produce those limited formats. And my hope is that Pokemon continues to uh, continues to produce more limited uh, or draft style formats. I think that uh, you know, limited formats in Pokemon are a lot of fun. They off and they offer up some really cool opportunities for decision making and deck building and things like that uh which you know standard and expanded format just can't replicate so i really like that idea of building your deck on the fly there we got a reverse rapid strike energy and cacturn i just put cacturn into my cube as well uh is this the same artist who did the uh yeah it is the same artist this artist really uh really has got some incredible artwork um definitely Definitely love it. Cacturn is just a really cool Pokemon. Cacturn's definitely been growing on me lately as well as a um, as a Pokemon. I mean, I think the design on Cacturn is just really sick because it's like a pumpkin, right? But it's a pumpkin like a jack-o'-lantern, but it's carved into a uh, you know carved into a cactus. I mean, how cool is that? It's like. Every card I've ever complimented in two years was by Kamuya. Yeah, 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 probably. I mean, the artwork just stands out, right? There we got a Metal Transfer Bronzong. Awesome, I can play that with the Corviknight V and the Corviknight V Max. It's got that Metal Transfer ability, allowing you to move your metal energy around town. Bring it around town. That's what Bronzong do. Brings it around town. Let's go. 
Let's see. So we're like, yeah, we're like halfway through the box. What? I've got three hits so far. Okay. All right. Okay. And we've got, yo, let's go. Turn up, chat. We have got a Corviknight VMAX number two. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Really stoked. That is uh, awesome. Awesome hit there for the collection. This is a card that I was really looking to uh, looking to pick up. So I'm very stoked about that. I think it's probably one of my favorite metal Pokemon, you know, printed in recent memory. Uh, so I definitely am a huge fan of that Corviknight VMAX. And as of right now, we've got a 1-2 line. So that's sick. If I could get a 3-3 three, three line of the Corviknight VMAX, man, we would be... We'd be cruising for sure. Escape Rope, awesome new reprint in Battle Styles as well. Really happy to see them bring Escape Rope back. I think just having more having more switch outs in standard format is awesome because just so many decks rely on uh, rely on switching and having just a different way to switch I think is really good. Let's go. We got a single strike mustard full art. That's our second full art supporter of the opening. Single strike mustard is an awesome card. It allows you to search your, search your deck for a single strike Pokemon and put it onto your bench and then draw five cards. It's like Maxi's hidden ball trick, but it's even more busted because it just gets the card straight from your deck. So I absolutely love that. And the artwork on this thing is just top-notch, absolutely phenomenal. It's so easy to see why the full art supporters are becoming so collectible these days. The artwork on those things is awesome for sure. So single strike mustard joining the crew over here. I think this is our, yeah, this is our box so far. So that is, uh, that is super rad. And we've got another Salazzle. I do really love that this set is not very big. I will uh, commend that as well. Uh, 163 cards in the regular set, beautiful. I think that uh, smaller sets is great. Uh, it was really kind of daunting, you know, Cosmic Eclipse sets that are uh, sets that are just absolutely massive, right? It, it could it could be a little bit a uh, little bit daunting to to open right because it's just such a huge set so many different cards lost thunder was huge as well right um you know back in the day like jungle fossil those those sets only had like uh like 60 to 70 cards in them you guys know that like 60 70 80 cards yeah sets used to be super limited i'm pretty sure there's a hit in here chat so we're gonna slow we're gonna slow roll this all right I think that there's a hit. What do you guys think it's gonna be? We got Apache. Who do we who do we got? And a Victini V. Alright, Victini V. What's up, bud? With the V bullet attack. 10 plus 50 more damage if the defending Pokemon's Pokemon beat. And then flare shot. 120 damage. What's up, Victini? Welcome to the crew. Welcome to the Tricky Gym stream. You've got some people watching you right now hopefully you're not camera shy because there's there's some heads in here watching the opening so welcome <laughs> welcome to the club victini <laughs> we'll go ahead and put you in a sleeve set you right over there fantastic all right still got like eight nine yeah chat say say hi to victini chat say hi victini looks like it's waving hi to you right yeah look look at him he looks like he's having a good old time yeah good good stuff victini what's up victini yeah, this Bellsprout definitely vibing out of here as well. Bellsprout's a cool Pokemon. Colossal. There we go. With the Cole Cannon attack. Busted. And Aegislash is my hollow rare. What do you guys think the best artwork is in the set? Anybody got any opinions? I honestly think that the Alt Art Single Strike Urshifu V Max might be the. Let's go. Rainbow Rare 
Tapu Coco V Max. This is an insane card. Let's go. That is beautiful. Check that out. The Rainbow Rare cards look absolutely stunning. And of course, they have got the new texture on them. Y'all, scope the new texture. Did you see it? Look at that. It's got like, uh, you see the little, little triangles there? Look at that in the background. It's like a. Uh, yeah, that is super cool. It looks like almost like a little tribal print kind of thing. You guys see the, the tribal print texture there in the background? Yeah, that thing looks awesome. Such a sick rip. Definitely stoked on that. And uh, there we go. And then, uh, yeah, cool. Some other cards there in the back. Sick, sick rips. All right, and you know what I'm feeling? You know what I'm feeling, chat? We're, uh, I think we're gonna do one more giveaway. This has been such a hype stream. We're giving away all of the codes, right? We already talked about that. We're giving away one Elite Trainer Box, and then I'll also select at least one of the hits. Maybe the Rainbow Rare Coco, something like that. We'll select one of the hits at the end of the stream, and we'll give that away as well, all right? Does that sound good? Everybody cool with that? So we'll have even more, we'll have even more winners for the giveaway at the end. Yeah, 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 something. We'll give away some of the hits as well. Does that sound good to y'all? I'm having a good time. Y'all having a good time? I wanna make sure you guys are having a good time. So yeah, we'll give away some of the hits too. So that we have more than five winners drawn at the end of the stream. Major thanks to the Pokemon company for hooking us up with this uh, absolutely phenomenal product. And major thanks to everybody who is tuned in live right now on Twitch. Yeah, I think we might as, yeah, we'll just, we'll give away, I'll guarantee give away that Rainbow Rare Tapu Coco, all right? We'll guarantee give that away. We'll see what else we pull, but I'll guarantee I will, I'll commit right now to giving away that Rainbow Rare Tapu Coco. One lucky winner at the end of the stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, yeah, gotta check out, gotta check out the Twitch stream. <laughs> where is it? Where do, where can I go to watch Tricky Jim live? Anybody know? Where is it? Where can I go? Twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim? Is that it? Yeah. Twitch.tv slash Tricky Jim. Oh, yeah. And if you are sub to the channel, <laughs> if you are LinkedIn, is that where it is? Can I find him? <laughs> uh, and if you are sub to the channel here on Twitch, you do have... Five times the luck in the giveaways as well. Yo, there's Kingdra. Let's go. Kingdra with the Deep Sea King ability. Uh, when your active Pokemon is knocked out by damage from an attack, your opponent's Pokemon uh, attack from your opponent's Pokemon, and you may move all the water energy to one, your benched Kingdra here. So basically, it just baton passes all the energy back. It's Super, super, yo, busted. And, uh, yo, thank you so much, Rorku, in the sub, in the chat with those five gifted subs. Appreciate you, Rorku. Thank you so much for that. And thank you, everybody, who has been supporting the channel with your subs and the bits and all of that while we've been doing this opening. Thank you guys so much for the hype, and I'm glad you guys are enjoying the stream. And, uh, and big thanks again to the Pokemon Company for providing this product for us to open and give away awesome awesome all right bellsprout onyx and vavilion is our rare there another korean is focus and can't forget about carcoal you know carcoal super epic super super epic oh what's my you guys don't get to know my <laughs> i did have a myspace of course man myspace that was that was, those, them were the days for sure. Arguing with your friends about who's on your MySpace top eight. Man, that uh, that was some stuff. Yo, thank you guys so much for those subs. Lodine and, and Kyle Neal, appreciate you guys. And we've got a hit, I believe. Another Tyranitar V. Let's go. Tyranitar V. Single strike. That's our second one of the opening so far. And this box is looking really hype. If we just uh, take a look at the hits so far from 
that box that is just really really hype uh well how many hits we have so far one two three four five six seven eight hits in the box super gnarly and we got another jellicent cheryl and last pack of the first box will it have a gold card in it let's see looks like it does not so no gold card in the first box but we did get eight beautiful hits check that out corvanite v and a corvanite v max single strike urshifu v the rainbow rare tapu koko v max which we are going to be giving away at the end of the opening along with the elite trainer box and all of the codes from the uh from the opening so far so very very hype on that booster box and we've still got two more to open booster box number two let's get cracking the chat that is here live on twitch is predicting whether or not we will open an alt art card now some of the alternative artwork cards i think are the most hype cards in the set uh they all look absolutely stunning uh the artwork on them i think the alt art uh, single strike Urshifu VMAX uh, for me is is one of the coolest looking cards from uh, from battle styles but then there's also the alternative art rapid strike Urshifu VMAX which is incredibly hype as well and there's the alt art Tyranitar I think the alt art Tyranitar is quickly becoming one of the collector's favorites from this set so there we go Bruno and Galarian Slowbro in the first pack but uh altar tyranitar and it's interesting to kind of watch the uh you know watch collectors kind of decide you know what is the chase card going to be it was uh the rainbow rare pikachu v max from uh from vivid voltage ended up being a huge chase card from that set and i guess it makes sense uh in hindsight i definitely didn't see it coming though you know thank you so much uh bandicoot and freddy for those subs and our first hit of the box we have got a falapple v this guy is so green it reminds me of a can of like mountain dew or something i really it really does remind me of that uh flapple v is just the green monster Yes, green apple definitely, definitely reminds me of that. Flapple V first hit of our second booster box. Sour Spit. Yeah, can make the uh, defending Pokemon's attacks cost two colorless more. Uh, could certainly get some uh, some Pokemon stuck. A lot of decks are playing many switch outs though, so yeah, probably won't stick, but fun nonetheless, right? Definitely fun. And there we go. Single Strike Mustard Full Arts Part 2. If Single Strike Mustard is so good, then how come there isn't a sequel? Well, here we are. <laughs> Single Strike. Single Strike Mustard Full Arts 2. Let's go. All right. All right. Busted cards. Got another Full Art supporter. Love to see it. We've got a whole gang of mustards over here uh, in uh, in our opening. So two, it looks like I could build a pretty blinged out single strike mustard deck. That is, uh, that's pretty busted. Yeah, thank you so much, Houseman, for that prime sub. Thank you guys all so much for the support today as we stream this Battle Styles pack opening. All right. And uh, I think the decks that I'm most excited about to build i i feel like i probably will build the single strike deck right single strike or shifu v max just to try it out and kind of see what it's all about i mean you can't you can't judge it till you try it right so you know we could try the the single strike or shifu v max with the you know with the hound dooms and all of that and then we could try the rapid strike or she could be max and then uh i think that it would be cool to actually play them against each other right so you know build the single strike or she v max and rapid strike or she v max and just like you know let the decks just uh let the decks just kind of 
duke it out, right? And then see which one comes out on top, you know, in the red corner. I can see the video now. In the red corner, we have Single Strike Urshifu VMAX. In the blue corner, we have Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX. I'm sure it is very close. I mean, the thing is, is the Single Strike Urshifu VMAX um, can one-hit KO things. Oh, yeah, so uh, I I don't think that Single Strike Urshifu VMAX is necessarily bad, and I think that the single strike Urshifu V Max is going to be very strong at knocking out other Pokemon V Max. Right? That that that's the thing. Is that the reason why? If there's any shortcoming of the single strike, uh, the single strike Urshifu V Max deck is that it's not going to be able to trade well with with single prize attackers or even like low, you know, kind of low HP attackers. Yeah, thanks so much, Mex Javs, for that tier one sub. Uh, it's just not going to be able to exchange well with low HP uh, attackers, where Rapid Strike has that built-in, you know, spread attack, being able to do 120 damage to two. Exactly. Uh, so Rapid Strike is just a much more flexible card, which is why I think that it will have a, you know, kind of a bigger meta impact. Who do we got? Another Rapid Strike, Urshifu V, loving it. I need plenty of these to build my Rapid Strike deck, so definitely cannot be disappointed with that pull. That is our second one so far. I'm looking for like at least three or four, so that is phenomenal. I'm stoked on that. Beautiful pull. Love it. We're definitely... Uh, the cool thing is these cards that, you know, I pull right here, uh, we're just going to be putting them straight into the decks for tomorrow's tabletop stream. So if you like tabletop Pokemon trading card game content, the cards that I am pulling here, we're going to sleeve up, put into decks, and we are going to play with them on tomorrow's stream. That's my favorite part, uh, about opening cards and my favorite part, uh, uh, about uh, about Pokemon in general. It's just building decks and playing. So we've got a super fun tabletop stream planned for tomorrow. Uh, we're going to have Michael Zeely back again for some exciting tabletop action tomorrow on stream. So that should be, that should be very hype. And uh, I'm going to work on building decks tonight after the stream and hopefully test a little bit on tabletop. Now, people were telling me that I was missing out on Sandaconda. All right, what's Sandaconda do? Big Sand Cannon. Discard the top six cards of your deck. This attack does 60 damage for each fighting energy you discarded in this way. So if you discard six fighting energy, okay, I get down with the Sandaconda. I think the Sandaconda is kind of busted. You can put a fighting energy on top of your deck with you know, with the Rangaroo. And uh, how are we stacking all these energy? You're just discarding your entire deck, right? And then and then you're just going to energy recycle or energy back in. That's it. So you just like, you draw through your deck as fast as you can. And then you just use energy recyclers to put energy back into the deck. And then, uh, and then you can do like 300 damage, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the new Gyarados. It's better than Gyarados, though. It's better than Gyarados. No, 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 no. It's better than that Gyarados. Same kind of energy, though. But, you know, I think it's better than the Gyarados. No, no, no. It's way better than that Gyarados. That Gyarados was not was not good. That Sandaconda, at least Sandaconda's fighting type, right? Fighting type is kind of like the type that you want to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I, I can... I bet you that we will make... A video on that Sandaconda. Maybe not until, you know, ADP rotates, but like after ADP rotates, I'll make a video on that. I might even mess around and make a video on it before ADP rotates. We'll see. Now we got Clay Doll in that pack. A nice energy recycler. I'm telling you, the energy recycler with the uh, good when it hits for weakness. Well, yeah, if you can like get three energy, you're doing 180. Um, you know, and you're going to have to play like a lot of energy recyclers and things like that. I think there are at least 
uh, some interesting hollow rares. Like I said earlier in the video, the hollow rares from this set are just really cool, really interesting. And uh, I think there's a lot of potential there and at least, you know, some fun deck potential for sure. Check this guy out. We did it. We've done it. There is the alternate art Empoleon V. I knew we had to open an alt art eventually. Check out this handsome lad with the phalanx and the Mianfu. Look at those guys. This honestly is one of the coolest artworks in the set. This artwork is so sick. He's doing like, you know, uh, that, uh, that pose there on the edge of the waterfall. I mean, how gnarly is that? That has just got to be one of the sickest cards in the set. Such a cool card. Empoleon V with Phalanx. And Phalanx is such a, uh, yeah, Karate Kid vibes for sure. Uh, Phalanx is such a fan favorite uh, Pokemon as well. So to have Phalanx kind of featured on the Empoleon card, I mean, there's a lot of... Uh, a lot of people really hype on Empoleon. I mean, a lot of people really love Empoleon. Um, you know, Diamond and Pearl are getting remakes. Empoleon is definitely the best starter from Diamond and Pearl. Don't don't mess with me, chat. Empoleon's the best starter from Diamond and Pearl, is it not? It totally is, right? Totally is. Totally is. Who else could it be? Who else could it be the best starter from? Don't even tell me it's one of the five different fire fighting Pokemon. Don't even tell me that. Don't even tell me it's one of the nameless fire fighting Pokemon. Don't tell me it's, uh, don't tell me it's Blaziken part two. Pretty sure Infernape is just Blaziken two. And I'm pretty sure Torterra, right? Is it Torterra? Yeah, I'm pretty sure Torterra is just Venusaur 2. Am I wrong? Couldn't see it. <laughs> Couldn't see it. Not wrong. Yeah, no, nah, Empoleon. Empoleon is awesome, though. Check out my boy. Victini V Max, let's go. I've seen this card getting a lot of hype actually. Uh in some in some tournaments online. Yeah, Victini V Max. Awesome card. 310 HP. It's got spreading flames attack and put three fire energy from your discard pile to your Pokemon in any way you like. And then max victory. 100 plus 120 more if the defending Pokemon is a Pokemon V. And uh Pokemon V are all over the place. Pretty much every single attacker is a Pokemon V. So you're basically doing 220 damage for two energy yeah insane card we love to see that uh we are getting some gnarly gnarly uh pulls for sure and eventually welder is going to rotate right and when welder rotates i think that victini v max will just be uh the premier fire type pokemon v max right i think it's going to be better than senti scorch v max once welder is gone as long as we've got welder you know your senti scorch v max can do uh you know, can do a ton more damage. But when Welder rotates, Victini V, 220 for two, that's looking pretty good, right? And it can accelerate energy onto your Pokemon by itself with the Spreading Flames, which I think is also uh, very good. Also, yep, KO Zashian V super easily for just two energy, which is awesome. Uh, it also uh, one-hit KOs this other guy that we really like, Corviknight V Max, right? Uh, so I think the Victini V Max certainly, uh, certainly going to uh, going to be making quite a splash. All right, what do we what do we got? All right, we're gonna slow roll it. Here it is. Here we go. Cubone, Victory Bell, and Quiet on the Set. Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX, let's go! There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Rapid Striker Shifu VMAX, insane, insane, insane pull. Let's go. What, we've got 
two of the Rapid Strike V, and now we've got a Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max. That deck is coming together. We're going to be playing this card live on stream tomorrow, giving it some nice riffle shuffles. That's right, chats. So we're going to be giving this thing some good old fashioned riffle shuffles. Chat, press F. Press F in the chat for this Urshifu V Max, which is going to get broken in tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, getting broken in live on stream tomorrow. Yep, yep. If you would like to watch this thing, get some good old-fashioned riffling. Yeah, you could tune in to Tricky Jim tomorrow. We're going to be streaming live, uh, live tabletop battle styles decks. So huge thanks to Pokemon for sending me this stuff so that uh, – so that we can build these decks and for allowing me to open it early. Uh, very, very stoked about that. All right, let's 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 get in there. We've got some incredible hits so far. We've got another Embor. Now, I don't know about the Embor. What? I guess you could use Mustard, right, to get Embor into play, which could, uh, you know, increase your... Uh, increase your single strike Pokemon's attacks. It draws you five cards. But in a format without a card like Ultra Ball, I think that, you know, getting that single strike mustard uh, play pulled off is going to be much more difficult, is it not? Right? I think uh, it would be pretty tough to get the single strike mustard to be the last card in your hand. But I do think that it's possible. Uh, I do think that it's possible. Maybe if they print a card like Ultra Ball or, you know, something like that, that would certainly help a lot. But I don't know if they'll reprint Ultra Ball, right? I'm not sure. Maybe. I mean, they have Quick Ball. I'm not sure if they want Quick Ball and Ultra Ball in the same standard format. You could use Rose and Orangaroo together that's true uh that's true you could use rose and then you could uh stack it on top of your deck but then your opponent marnie's you to four cards and you're sad because you had this idea like you were gonna have just a you know a one card hand the following turn and then they marnie you up to four cards and you're like oh no marnie not marnie all right i got a boofer and uh, Galarian Slowbro in that pack. But uh, I I definitely have been missing some sort of uh, search out, you know, for evolution Pokemon. Relying on Pokemon communication is fine. You know, relying on Great Ball is fine. Uh, we've got another Rapid Strike Octillery, so that's fantastic. And, uh, you know, but, uh, but Ultra Ball being able to get, you know, both your basic Pokemon and your uh, evolution Pokemon. I think that, you know, with the turn one supporter rules not being, you know, you can't play a supporter on the first turn of the game. It's really important that your search cards can get you both basics and evolution Pokemon. Because if you've got a card, there we go. Two Empoleon V in the same up box. There's our Empoleon. Look at that beautiful card. The Emperor's Eyes ability, it turns off uh, Pokemon, basic Pokemon's abilities, right? Uh, that don't have a rule box. So it turns off Jirachi, it turns off, um, uh, it also turns off, yeah, Amazing Jirachi and uh, and also Team Up Jirachi. Yeah, those are like, those are the two main ones. Uh, pretty cool, pretty cool card, nonetheless. Turns off Snorlax, this is true. Turns off Zigzagoon, this is true, this is true, yes. Yes, yes, yes. All right, and we've got just two packs left in the box. And we've got three, six, seven hits so far in box number two. Another Rapid Strike Energy. Beautiful. Oh, it also turns off a Ranguru. That's true. And our last pack, we've got seven hits. In box two, and it looks like we might have an eighth. Let's slow roll it. Cacnea, I'm telling you, Cacnea and Cacturn are definitely growing on me. I think they're uh, they're just super cool. Spoink, Roly Coly, Frillish, Rapid Strike Remoraid. 
and Mimic UV. Check it out. That's our second Mimic UV of the stream. Eight hits, though, okay? Eight hits. Let's go. <laughs> it's a Mimic UV. All right. It's the, the much sought after. Yes, Mimic UV. I think this card has a very cool artwork, though, if you take a look. Having the, uh, it looks like it's kind of in some, you know, on like a sidewalk maybe with like sidewalk chalk or some sort of like rainbow pavement thing going on there in the back. It's just a sick, sick card for sure, especially if you are a fan of Mimikyu. All right, now let's take a look at the cards we pulled in box number two. We got uh, a second single strike style mustard. We've got the Rapid Strike Urshifu V and Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max, which was awesome. We did pull one of the amazing alternate artworks from this set, and the alternate arts just look absolutely phenomenal. So stoked on this box. We've still got one more box left. The third and final booster box that we have. Let's get right on into it. Cards that we are looking for. I would really like maybe another Corviknight V, another Corviknight V Max. Um, I think that would be awesome. Uh, we're also well on our way to a Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max deck. So if we can find the cards we need for either of those, that would be huge for sure. We also have not pulled any gold cards yet. So if we could find one of the gold trainer cards, that would be incredibly hype as well. Our predictors on Twitch are predicting right now. You know, thanks so much, Galaxy and Gimuri, for those subs. Appreciate you guys. And we've got a hit right out of the gates. Another single strike, Urshifu V. Awesome card there. And we are uh, well on our way to being able to put together that deck as well. It's my second uh, single strike Urshifu V. So definitely stoked about that. Um, definitely, definitely stoked about that. Let's, let's, let's go. And then, uh, okay, we've got coats. And the single strike Urshifu. We'd love if we could open a single strike Urshifu V Max because then I could, uh, then I could put that in the single strike deck that I plan on building for stream tomorrow as well. And we got the new Senti Scorch in this pack. And Fan of Waves. I do think the Fan of Waves is going to be a very strong card as well. Just being able to deny special energy, especially with these, these new special energy, which are just really strong, right, from Battle Styles. I'm sure that they're going to be uh, played in each of the respective uh, Urshifu VMAX decks. So Fan of Waves being able to deny those special energy definitely seems like a top strategy going forward. You know, thank you so much, Rideouts, for that Prime sub. Thank you guys all so much for the love and the support as we uh, as we stream today. And thank you guys so much for subbing to the channel. Of course, subs to the channel do have five times luck in the Twitch giveaways. And if you are, I think that might be my first hollow meow stick that we've opened so far. And uh, and if you do have an, uh, an Amazon Prime account, uh, then you you do get an Amazon Prime sub for free once a month. So those are all ways that you can sub to the channel. So thank you guys so much for the support and for making what I do here on Tricky Gym possible. And thank you guys for the viewership as well. It's been absolutely awesome today. Uh, this is just uh, such a fun experience for me, and I really appreciate you guys being a part of it here live on Twitch. Thank you so much, JP Gray, for that sub. We've got a hound door. It looks like that one's like kind of a little bit lighter. I feel like sometimes you get, you know, reverse hollows that are a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. That one feels like a little bit of a lighter print. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, you know, imagining things. But sometimes there are slight variations in uh, in prints for cards, which is uh, which is always cool. You know, thank you so much, Infuriated, for that uh, for that tier one sub. We've got the new Phalanx there, Rapid Strike phalanx in that pack and we're still just sitting on the 
one single strike Urshifu B. Those of you that were predicting that we were going to get nine hits. Uh, we have opened eight hits in both of our boxes so far. You know, thank you so much, King, for that prime sub. All right, we do have a hit in this box, so, or in this pack. So let's get it. Mianfu. Yamper. Glamiao. Corfish. A Conkladur. And a Tapu Coco V Max. All right. Very cool. Regular art Tapu Coco V Max. I think this card is super cool and could certainly be playable um, in lightning type decks. I think that that attack is just really strong. Auto paralysis, if you are behind on prizes, is super sweet. And I'd actually rather pull the Tapu Coco V Max than the Tapu Coco V because I think the Tapu Coco V Max is just uh, a much stronger card than the Tapu Coco V. And you can use the Tapu Coco V from Sword and Shield base set to evolve into this Tapu Coco V Max, which I think, uh, you know, for the most part, is probably what most players will do because the Sword and Shield Tapu Coco V is a little bit of a stronger card, similar to the uh, Victini V from this set. But this Victini V is very cute, so it does have that going for it. But uh, I do think that the... Uh, yeah, the, the Sword and Shield Victini V and the Sword and Shield uh, Tapu Coco V, both stronger, stronger cards. Another Hollow Rare Tapu Bulu. Now, I do wonder, you know, what kind of cards are going to be playable with that Cherim, right? Of course, as they continue to release more cards, you know, and the, and the pool of playable cards with Cherim increases, um, you know, we could see different combinations kind of pop up for the Cherim deck. Uh, I think that, you know, obviously Frostmoth have a has access to all the most powerful water type Pokemon VMAX. Uh, you've got Inteleon VMAX. You've got, uh, you know, Lapras VMAX. But Cherim has to rely on Pokemon that do not have a rule box. So. We've got, uh, you could play it with Durant, Durant. That's true, the new Durant, you could. Um, but you do have access to Pokemon of any type. So you can uh, you can accelerate to any type of Pokemon, which is very cool. Whereas like Frostmoth can only accelerate to water type Pokemon. Definitely have a little bit more flexibility in some ways. You can also accelerate to the active position, which is Really nice as well. You don't have to have as many switch cards in your Cherim deck. Two level balls in the same pack. Busted, busted. All right, the first half of this box. Looking a little light here. We said nine. Could we pull nine? And it's looking like probably not nine hits in this particular box maybe the second half will uh yeah maybe the second half will pull through potentially uh we could see it blip bug embors are hollow rare in that pack it's fine last half magic chat last half magic gonna pull right on through yeah no problem no sweat no sweat. There's Laurentis, Carcoal, beautiful Carcoal. Yeah, last half magic will be just fine. Or this is going to be the box that we open like a gold card in. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's see. All right, got a reverse artillery. That's good stuff. Yeah. Definitely love to see that. And. Maybe we get a full art supporter. Yeah, we could do that too. Primate, or we pull a Mimikyu V. Yeah, maybe we just get, what do you, do you guys think we're gonna pull like the last, last half of the box, we're gonna pull like a Mimikyu V and a Mimikyu V full art to be the most epic. There's our first hollow rare Houndoom from the, uh, from the opening. You think we're gonna get like Mimikyu V, Flapple V, and Mimikyu V Full Art, right? We've had some fire pulls so far. First half of the box. Single Striker Shifu V, that's good. You think we're gonna get the uh, 
the VMAX Altar. Eh, potentially. Let's see. We've got a Colossal in this one. What if we get... Does anyone think we're going to get less than five hits in this box? You think we'll get four? Four hits? The magic four hit box? All right, we've got one. Let's go, chat. Here it is. Gligar. Focus. Come on, camera. I know you can do it. I know there's a lot of stuff here on the table. I know there's a lot of stuff over here. Focus. There we go. All right. So land it. Bronzor. Cacnea. Spoink. Don't stop bouncing, bud. Tepig. Cricketoon V. Let's go. I'm stoked we got one of these, you know? Because I was going to want one of these eventually anyways. You only really need one Cricketoon V for your collection. Uh, because it's usually going to be a one-of in any deck that it's in. But I do think that Cricketune V will definitely see some play and make its way into some deck. So it's got the exciting stage ability. It lets you fill your hand. Two, three cards. And thank you, chat, for all those... Yep, yeah, in the chat. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Thank you guys for all those lovely... Lovely delele whoops. Appreciate you. Yeah. Oh, of course... I am not above the Delele Whoop chat. Ask and you shall receive. I will provide you with a mighty fine Delele Whoop indeed. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> the Greedent V of Battle Styles. No, no, no. There is no Greedent V of. Listen. One does not simply replace Greedent V, all right? You do not. You do not simply replace Greedent V with some other some other Pokemon can't do it three hits all right can we get a can we get something spicy here Luxray and Electivire in that pack battle styles send your send your vibes to the chat send your vibes to the chat to get this last half of the box Jump started, chat. We need some vibes to the chat stat. There we go. All right. Full art Bruno. Single strike Bruno. Really nice full art supporter there. Bruno lets you shuffle your hand in your deck, draw four cards. And then if one of your Pokemon was knocked out last turn, you get seven. Let's go, Bruno. Let's go. Very cool. Very cool. And then Bruno is... Is Bruno... Bruno's like from the original Elite Four, right? Is that from Red and Blue Elite Four? Is that where Bruno's? I'm pretty sure, right? I'm not tripping. That's the same Bruno? Yeah, yeah. That's what a throwback. That's awesome. I love seeing those characters come back. Uh, I feel like I haven't seen Bruno. Yeah, have they ever printed another Bruno card? I feel like... Are there any other Brunos out there? It's the first Bruno card, right? Which is awesome. So that's that's super sick. All right, Bruno. Only took you twenty, only took you twenty years, but you finally got your first card. And I gotta say, the full art looks pretty epic for sure. Yeah, thank you so much, J Rip, for that sub. Yeah, been twenty-five years, well, twenty-two years. How long has it been since the Pokemon trading card game came out? 22 years. 22 years since they first started printing Pokemon cards. And they finally give... Finally give my man Bruno his own card. Oh, yeah, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Vic, Vic Teeny V. Just what we needed for this box. Chat, wave hi to Vic Teeny V. Vic Teeny V is here and he's ready to party. Let's go, Victini V. That is just what we needed to jumpstart that box. Let's go, Victini V. The victory Pokemon. Are you going to lead us to victory on this box, Victini? Or is that what we got going on? All right. You think we could do four more hits in like 10 packs? Yeah, you think so? 
All right. Crobat Hollow Rare in that one. Come on, hits. I know you're here. Camping gear. And Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Oh, it was Cynthia's Feelings was like the same card as Bruno. That's pretty cool. But Cynthia's Feelings went to eight. <laughs> Check out this dude, bro. <laughs> Yo, anybody, anybody want a single strike? Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we can give away this single strike mustard too. I already got two full art, so we'll give away this one. Cool. Add it to the giveaway pile. Add it to, add it to the giveaway pile. Yeah, we'll, we'll give that one away. Yeah, 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 there you go. So we'll give away the, the gold Tapu Coco VMAX and the gold mustard. Yeah, sure. Cool. Seems good. Yeah, that's our third, third one. That's pretty hilarious. Uh, awesome hit though. For sure. And now one of our lucky viewers here on Twitch will get that single strike mustard sent to your door. Let's go. All right, a few more packs here. Let's get it. And Stoutland. Yeah, you know, thanks so much, JJ Blackier, for that prime sub. Appreciate you, JJ. Stoutland V. Okay. Seven hits. All right. Seven hits. In order to get nine hits, we need two more hits out of five more packs. Don't call it a comeback, but it might be a comeback. Okay, two out of five. Let's go. Can it be done? All right, Mian Fu, Silicobra, Galarian Mr. Mime, Bellsprout, Onyx, another Kingdra, that's awesome, and Drampa is our rare, so no hit there, Rap Strike Energy. Four more, just two more hits. Let's get one hit in this box, and then we can, or one hit in this pack, and then... It'll be drama for the last three packs. Mawile, Spoink, Galarian Mr. Mime, Scatterbug, Yamper, Steelix, and Conkledur is our rare. No hits there. Three packs remain. All right, can we get two hits? Out of our final three packs, Fomantis. Remoraine, Spiro, Pachirisu, Cherubi, Roly Coley, and Boltund. Can the last two packs each contain a hit? <laughs> we would need it to be the most insane comeback in Pokemon pack opening history. Sizzly Pete. Ball Toy. Timber. Corefish. Cacnea. Grumpig. And. Rapid Strike Octillery. All right. Now, looks like we're not getting nine hits in this box. But there's still time for Last Pack Magic Chat. Still time for last pack magic. Give it the old, give it the old magic rub. All right, here we go. Yeah, what if there were two Pokemon V in the same pack? <laughs> oh, Houndor, Lickitung, Aeropack. <laughs> There's still time. There's still time. It could be an Aeropack. Uh, time Echo. 
and Salazzle. All right, that is the end. We had some incredible, incredible pulls during that opening. So major, major thanks to the Pokemon Company for gifting us this product. We are going to build decks out of many of the cards that we opened. We're going to give some of them away. This was our last booster box. We're definitely giving away the Rainbow Rare Single Strike Mustard. We are also going to be giving away that uh, Rainbow, uh, Rainbow Rare Tapu Koko VMAX, as well as one of the Elite Trainer Boxes and all of the codes from today's opening. So we will have one, five, six, seven winners drawn at the conclusion of the stream. So if you're watching on YouTube, you're missing out as we're about to announce seven winners. So make sure to go check out twitch.tv slash tricky gym where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. Now let's lay out the pulls that we uh, that we got. Lovely hits that we got from three booster boxes and two elite trainer boxes. If you are watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, ring that bell, and of course, check out the Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash tricky gym, where I stream live Pokemon trading card game content every single weekday. We've got a super welcoming community over here, and we'd love you to be a part of it. Y'all have a busted day. Peace.